India's Strategic Forces Command successfully conducted a training launch of Agni-1 short-range ballistic missile that successfully validated all operational and technical parameters. The Chief of General Staff of the Egyptian Armed Forces visited the Brahmos stall at Egypt Defence Expo 2023, and he showed strong interest in the Brahmos missile, as well as the DRDO-developed smart anti-airfield weapon. Cochin Shipyard Limited held the key laying ceremony of 4th and 5th anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft for the Indian Navy. The Indian Air Force has successfully airdropped a DRDO-developed Type V platform for the first time using a C-17 aircraft, that allows transportation of heavier and bulkier cargo with better stability and control. The Indian Army has released a request for information to procure around 10,000 handheld thermal imager uncooled devices, that will enable soldiers to carry out surveillance up to 3,000 meters. The Azerbaijani president has hit out against India and France, saying that the countries are creating unrealistic illusions in Armenia, that by using these weapons it can take back Karabakh region. Indian Air Force's 9 base repair depot will soon integrate the indigenously developed fly-by-wire system in Mirage 2000 fighter jets. Cochin Shipyard's massive dry dock facility in Kochi will be operational by June 2024, that will serve as the manufacturing base for India's third aircraft carrier, that will replace INS Vikram after 2035. Russia's Rostec Corporation has announced, that it has completed work on the development of a special base for testing the packed next generation bomber. It has been a long debated issue that India should consider a long-range strategic bomber, especially when China is on track to develop its H-20 stealth bomber by 2025. The Su-30 could be used as a tactical bomber, but it can carry only one BrahMos missile, and if somehow the missile fails to hit its target, then the whole mission could fail. Experts have said, that the American B-21 bombers are likely to be very expensive, so India should join hands with Russia to acquire at least 20 of them in the long run. The Indian Army's BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle has undergone a significant upgrade to carry two Conkers M third generation fire and forget anti-tank guided missiles. To further enhance its effectiveness in nighttime operations, Alpha Design Technologies has provided the Thermal Imager Standalone Kit, that provides the gunner with improved situational awareness and target identification capabilities in low light conditions. The Army is also incorporating canister launched loiter munition system on the BMP 2 chassis, that will enable it to perform reconnaissance and precision strike missions. As the production of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets is expected to accelerate from 2025 onwards, the DRDO is gearing up to meet the increasing demand for the indigenous radar system. While the first 40 Tejas Mark 1A will be equipped with the Israeli radar, but subsequent patches will be fitted with the Utam radar, for which a private sector firm is anticipating orders for over 40 units. The UTAM radar will be the sole radar used on the second batch of 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, and it will also be considered for the existing 40 Tejas Mark 1 fighter jets. The Ministry of Defense has issued a challenge under the IDEX initiative, seeking proposals from private sector companies to design and develop pressurized radams for radars of the Indian Air Force. Pressurized radams are specifically designed for high-altitude operations, and they shield the radars from harsh weather conditions and ensures optimal performance. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark,